Hey. Hello, everybody. It is sunny and spring in North Dakota, and I am thankful. <laughs> Just a quick, um, man, I've, been, I've had a lot to say in the last few weeks and have refrained mostly from saying too much, but um, you are stronger than you think. You're stronger than the fear around you. Your body and your cells in your brain is stronger than anyone is teaching us to believe. How we think determines our health. And I've talked about it many different times, but this is a little bit different. How you think determines how you respond, determines the strength of your immune system, your mood, how well you move. How can you take what's happening now in the world and turn it to good, turn it to joy? We cannot feel fear and joy at the same time because they're opposite ends of the emotional vibrational perspective. We cannot, as soon as we feel fear, helplessness, despair, we are not able to feel growth, love, joy and compassion given what's happening what do you need to let go of and what can you add in it we just finished a full morning and a few people are coming back every week and every single person is like oh my gosh i haven't been out of the house in six weeks i was so nervous i was like scaling the walls i had my mask on and my my gloves on and and you guys acted normal. <laughs> yes, we're taking precaution. And yes, I believe that every person needs to be adjusted to make sure that their brain and body is not stuck in fight or flight. Because we cannot heal and grow and expand and boost our immune system if our body is in fight or flight all the time. And given the stress of it anyway, without school, with attempting to work from home, schooling from home for people that never intended to do this, teachers that are learning something completely new in a different way, it's stressful enough. Innately, we're gonna be in fight or flight mode anyway. But the thoughts we choose is our choice. Choose different, right now. Right now, we get to choose that our body is freaking brilliant and it's strong and it can handle what comes its way all the time, every time. And no matter how much panic and fear and scare there is, how can you just control what you think? And that's it. Control what you see in the news, on the news, on the radio, on social media. Control who you follow on social media. If it doesn't give you good vibes, good energy, unfollow. Start to protect your mind with a bit more, what's the word, diligence maybe? Start to be uber protective of what you are choosing to listen to, to watch, and to believe. And I promise you will feel better. Your body will be stronger. People's health is declining fast because we are in this state of mind and all of the things that we were doing before, we're not doing now. And figure out, take some time to yourself, meditate, read something and determine what you're gonna let go of and what you're going to add to your life right now. This could be six more months until this is through a year. Our world will never be the same. Our community will never be the same. So how can you make it better? How can you take joy in this situation and create opportunity for you, for your family, for your community? Adios, bring light to the world.